Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. In this video, I wanna to put together my final form travel kit for hotels. When you're camping and you don't have access to a plug, I'll show you what I do there as well. Let's break them out, let's go. Here we go. This is my new travel coffee kit now. Here's what I wanna do, is get a Pelican case and then custom make all the inserts. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. So I think the trick in making a really good travel kit is one that is customized to you. So there's a lot out there that they sell and they're like, hey, it comes with everything. And like a lot of things, when you're doing the um, one size fits all, it's really not true. None of this stuff is sponsored, so I'm not gonna put any links. I'll say what they are, just so you guys can know, and what my take is on all of this stuff. But I think it's, it's really helpful, like if you're into coffee, um, and you don't take all the, I guess, steps to finally enjoy it for yourself, you're kind of like missing out on some of that joy, right? I think it all starts with just what we like to do over here is to be curious. Instead of thinking it of as like, oh, I have to do all the things now and do I have to do this? You don't have to do anything. <laughs> this is if you want to give yourself um, the best experience, the best coffee experience you can give yourself for yourself. And I think there's a lot of joy in that if you could if you could see that. So this is what I have so far. Number one, the biggest thing was upgrading the mug. This by far has been the best one. Uh, the fellow travel mug. This is what I'm, I drink out of this now on a daily basis when I go travel upstairs. <laughs> and the reason why is because even the Yeti one, I have the Yeti one. I have, um, I even brought this out there. This can break. The Yeti one was metal. And when you taste coffee out of metal, it's just not good to me in any way. And this may look like it's metal, but it's actually ceramic on the inside. And that is amazing. That is awesome. So it's ceramic on the inside, but then a metal lid here. And then you can also put this that comes with this like a splash guard and it does guard against normal splashes, okay? If you're junking this thing around, you know, it's not gonna really work. And then I prefer this topper to this topper, which is that new thing that they came out with. I think it's an absolute horrible design. Once you take this out and once you drink out of it, the drips go everywhere. And even if you wanted to say, um, walk upstairs, because there's no splash guard, it gets, coffee gets into here, right? So say you go walk upstairs even, not even a crazy like car ride. You take this off to, to enjoy sipping coffee like this with an open mouth because you can still do that. You put this down, coffee is now everywhere. It's very, it's a messy lid and that's why I, I really don't like it. But this, having a smaller sized mug, I think is awesome. So what I'm gonna do for my travel kit and I'm heading to a hotel, I'm gonna take my favorite lid because you turn it over, any drips of the coffee are, ca are caught in here in this little rim. This one, there's no catch. It's just super duper messy. So I hate this one. That's a strong word, but it's true. <laughs> when you get into coffee, you'll, you'll, you get it, you understand. I'll take this splash guard for sure. And I'll take this. And this is what I will take when I travel. Okay, so we're trying to save space um, and we're trying to have the best drinking experience, obviously. Next, I was super into my um, AeroPress, still am, but I haven't drank out of it in a while now. And I've just been on this kick of very clean cups, very acidic cups. Mm, it's just the season, I guess. I don't, I really don't have any idea. Um, AeroPress is a more immersion type of experience. So I am choosing recently to be taking this, which is the, it comes from Pact. Um, and this actually came in a kit that I got and it's this whole kit. And this is the only thing that I actually use from it. This kettle is amazing. And I like that I can bring this pour over, um, this kind of like V60-ish sort of brewer. Uh, it breaks down, it's durable, so I can bring it camping. I'll bring paper filters. I don't like the metal filter that came with this packed thingy. Sharp for one thing. I hate cleaning it. <laughs> I just wanna be able to do my little pour over, toss this away like I do at home. So we have that, right? And then brings us to our kettle. The pouring motion on this is awesome. You can serve, oh, I need to clean this. So yeah, if <laughs> in a pinch, I was boiling hotel water 
and it was fine. It was fine. I didn't, I wasn't like, this is not, this is not drinkable because I had, I think this cup and really good coffee and a pretty good grinder. Eh, decent. Yeah, if you are um, using this, you just have to be kind of aware of this like metal part right here. I have small hands. I've talked about this before. I like to place the thumb a little bit closer to the spout. That way I feel like I have a pretty good handle on it and then pour it that way. And it's, and it's a little bit more ergonomic for me. This feels very tough. Like I don't have a good grip. And again, it's just because I have small hands. So, and it comes with this and it's a three pronged uh, plug-in. So you'll want to make sure that you have the right, you know, connection. If you're traveling abroad or whatever it is, you have the right connection. If I'm going camping, I don't have access to electricity. I'll definitely just get one of my um, kettles that I can place right into the fire and we'll do it a super rustic cowboy coffee. Not really cowboy coffee, but cowboy kettle. Uh, version of that. I have a little brush just in case and it takes us to one of the most important things in this kit that I feel should be upgraded but I'm gonna have to wait because I just really like the design of this how small it is. The grind quality is not that consistent but I think because I've made this upgrade and I have the I have good water typically I have good water and I do this pour over method I'm typically okay and that's okay for me. Um, for a lot of people, maybe not. Like this was maybe like, <laughs> maybe number two, number one even of what to upgrade or what to, um, to focus on in a travel coffee kit. You know, grind is really, really important. But I, yeah, I just can't get around this design. It's really cool and it's rugged and it's small and there's no glass and there's nothing hanging and there's nothing that I have to remember. There's already stuff that I have to remember here, but they're big and they're bulky and I feel like it works. It's fine. And then a couple of paper filters. So this is it. And of course we'll need some coffee, some really good fresh coffee. If you guys saw my little home roasting video before this one came out, I'm bringing that here. I feel kind of okay about it. I have some leftover coffee, my own production of the this Ethiopia Yerg. So I think I'm gonna bring that instead. I think that's gonna be a really safe bet. And when I'm going away, I really want to have complete control over my coffee experience. It It's the worst when you go out, you're on vacation, you're trying to have a very good time and say, a really good cafe is not around, or you're like me and I, like it's the first thing I do when I wake up is I have coffee. I don't wait till 10 or 11 <laughs> when I'm finally dressed and ready to go and go have a coffee at a cafe. No, I like to do it the first thing in the morning. It's meditative for me. Um, nobody's talking to me. <laughs> nobody's demanding anything. It's just me and my coffee. So for me, this is what has been working in the last, I'd say three trips. That's not a lot of trips, but I'm always trying to improve it. But this what I this is what I feel where the really big, you know, upsides was this cup. That, you know, in the hand made everything a lot better. Going with a pour over because the AeroPress is still a really great brewer, but it was messy in that I had to worry about steering it and making sure the grounds were well incorporated. And yes, I could shake it, um, but that really didn't do it justice. And so I was like, man, if I can't brew my AeroPress right, then I don't really want to deal with it. Another thing too, is that this brewer, I forgot to mention this is kind of a big deal. It fits perfectly here, right? And the AeroPress does not. Where is that thing? So I couldn't comfortably bring this anymore because now this was my preferred cup of choice. And it really is versus this guy. It's gonna stay hotter longer um, when I'm doing stuff around the hotel or whatever it is. If is. I'm, I'm gonna work from the hotel for sure. So this just wasn't gonna work. It wasn't gonna cut it, even though it's so cool to bring this. This is just really my cup of choice. It's the perfect size. It's so pretty. <laughs> sleek and everything like that. So yeah, while this is an awesome brewer, the fact that I'm confined to this size is a bummer, right? And it's a little bit different experience in terms of tasting, that immersion taste, richer, more, I guess, full-bodied, I guess. I don't know, but I'm just really digging and vibing on these really lively and acidic coffees that I have here with me. Um, so I have this Guatemala, questionable, right? We'll see. 
I'm gonna bring that Yurg that I have here. It's on sale right now if you wanna check it out. I think um, uh, it's some interesting stuff that I'll share with you about that Ethiopia in another video. But yeah, everything will go in here. Whoop. Just like that, we're packing this guy. This guy breaks down. Okay, it's metal, so, you know, we don't worry so much. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Put coffee in there too. I can put another bag in there. And then cinch it up. Booyah, we're ready to go. And I like to have everything in one container, that way I just know. I'm like, confidence, everything is here, everything is ready to go. So. That is my coffee kit when I'm going to hotels and I have electricity. Let me know in the comments what you guys are doing for your travel coffee kits or have you even thought about it? Like, pfft, I didn't really think about it and I always was like willing to sacrifice that because I was going away, oh, I'm not I'm not gonna have the best coffee experience. And then finally I was like, why, why would I think that? I can have the best coffee experience. I just gotta figure it out and take a little bit of time. So this is what I'm doing. I hope it inspires you to have a nice little uh, create a coffee kit of your own. Enjoy getting out there. Enjoy having your coffee on the go anywhere you are. See you in the next one. Bye.